Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to Classic Pontiac Rescue to meet up with my buddy Joe Jackson. Um, I'm helping him pick up two barn finds that uh, he found. These cars have not been on the road in over 20 or 30 years. They've just been sitting there, just sitting there for 20 30 years basically. Um, these are the Bandit style Trans Ams. I know it's not the legit Bandit editions. I just always refer to those as the Bandit cars as Smoking Bandit obviously. So what they do at Classic Pontiac Rescue, they basically just restore the old Trans Ams and do a little few other things. But I'll get him to do a little video of what they actually do there more in depth later on in the video. So make sure you hit that like, subscribe button, and I hope you enjoy the video. It's not a game, it's a red it up to like the closest Walmart is like 45 minutes away. <laughs> so we're in the middle of nowhere and it's coming a storm. So gotta love cars. <laughs> All right. Some cool barn finds. <laughs> so I guess we're getting that one. Then the white one. Then he's got another one under a bunch of stuff right there. And I think Joe is coming back and picking up that one later. I mean, it's pretty clean for sitting here for years. <laughs> Definitely a little, a little dusty. You're dusty. <laughs> but this is really cool. I've always wanted to be part of finding like the little barn find. So we're gonna try and get these two uh, Trans Ams loaded up and head back to Classic Pontiac Rescue. We're just letting the rain clear out before we start pulling them all out. But it's definitely good solid cars. So I was looking at this car and out stepped on this dog, Shannon. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Cute, ain't he? He's literally the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> what are you doing? Besides our dog. Yeah, our dog's pretty cute. Well, I almost stepped on it. All I seen was something fuzzy. fuzzy. And I was like, oh god, must get ate up. Kind of fuzzy jacket. <laughs> How about you looking at this? <laughs> yeah, this thing's really clean. For especially setting for so long. Yeah. Oh. First time it's been out in probably. Oh, yeah, she definitely got a hole in it. <laughs> Take us to the road. Yeah. <laughs> so the last time it was registered, it was 99. That's probably the first time it's came out since, yeah, 20 years, give or take. She's probably like, thank God he's getting rid of them things. You wanna? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> what? You wanna try to take it out to the road to the pavement? Hold on one second. Did you want to try to take all the way out to the roads if we got the pavement? Well, I'm making it easy for us to try to work. 
Uh, I doubt it. It's just, I mean, it's Yeah, me move. So there's Coke, Diet Coke, root beer, and orange stuff in there. If anybody wants anything. I'm good right now. I'm not grabbing Coke. I'm not. <laughs> I'm, good. I'm good. We're looking on the... You're going to hide the space back there. You should be able to get out. can't get out, I'm glad this was a manual. <laughs> The first time I've been washed in probably God knows how long, 20, 30 years. <laughs> This one ain't as bad, I don't think. Hey, it's like a dirtier thing, yeah. That's a totally different car. Nice and clean now. Thank you. Twenty minutes ago, this was green.
really happy Joe is saving these though. Cause they would be set for like another 20 years probably. <laughs> but we're gonna go deliver them to his shop now. So off to the shop. All right, so this is their showroom of some of the builds they've built. Um, this is Joe's car. Um, he said that this car used to look worse than what we picked up today. Then you can obviously see everything that they've done. Done a really good job on the build. But they built specifically, basically uh, the Bandit Trans Ams but they do a little bit of everything. <laughs> but I'm gonna get the camera on Joe and he'll tell a little bit about how he found these two barn finds or three barn finds and a little bit about what they do here at Classic Pontiac Rescue. All right, so here's Joe Jackson, owner of Classic Pontiac Rescue. Um, so what all you really do here? Uh, we specialize in a 1967 to 1981 Firebird uh, and Camaro. Uh, we do 1964 to 72 GTO. We also do some late model LS stuff every now and then, but primarily Trans Ams and GTOs. Sweet. So how did you find the barn finds or come up with one of them? I've got a pretty uh, big network of people um, across the southeast to kind of help me locate these things. And actually, when these cars kind of snuck through the back door and popped up for sale. Um, I had a few guys tell me about them and I contacted the owner and kind of made a deal and everything. And it's kind of funny because a lot of guys were trying to buy the cars and just kind of gave up on it. And the bird gets the one I guess. <laughs> Sweet. So about, about how long have they been sitting again? Uh, from what I understand, uh, the mid nineties, I think one of them was the late eighties and the other ones were the mid nineties. Dang. And you said that that car used to look worse than what we that picked up. That car was worse than the ones that we picked up this afternoon. Basically, that car was um, a body, just a body and a subframe, and that's about it. Sweet. Well, if they want to follow the rest of the build, what's your YouTube channel and stuff for you? Uh, my YouTube channel and my Instagram are both Cores Bandit, and you can also follow Classic Pontiac Rescue on Facebook also. Sweet. Yeah, I'll drop that in the description below for everybody. But anything else you want to say, anything? I think we're good. Sweet. Ready to go to bed. Been a long day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll catch you in the next video.